This is a really quick demonstration of how I use Flipboard to find, curate and share content. With Flipboard, I can, uh, when I go to a conference, I can follow a conference hashtag. So I'm just going to quickly show you with the EdChat hashtag how I can subscribe to that particular hashtag. So all I'm doing is adding the hashtag in. I can do the same for a conference and I can search for all the tweets that mention EdChat and then once it's loaded you can see that all the links that are being shared in EdChat are on Twitter are being uh, fed into this folder so I can subscribe to it. When I go to the main page of my Flipboard account I can see the folders of all the things I subscribe to. So here's the Reform Symposium Conference hashtag and these are all the tweets that are coming in from the conference. I add subscribe to this earlier. And if I see something I like, I can click on it. I can use one of the options at the bottom to share it with my network. Or something I like to do is I like to cur curate my own magazine. So I'm going to create a new magazine called Being a Connected Educator. And this is where I'm going to be curating all the articles I like to um, to refer back to and I want to share with other people in my network and I can add a description there I'm going to leave that for now I'm creating the magazine and I can also share it to my network as well and I add it and it's as simple as that so now I've added it to my own magazine now if I go to my magazine, I can see that article has been added to it. So now you've created a magazine, all you have to do is just, um, as you see articles you like, you just keep adding more to it. So I'm just going to have a look for some more articles in that hashtag. And um, here's a really good, looks like it's a good one. So I like the look of this article and I'm going to add this to my magazine and share it on my network at the same time this time. So I'm going to tap the icons for the networks I want to share onto. So in this case, I just want to share it onto Twitter. And then I'm going to add a quick caption like um, helpful link for getting more out of the conference and then I'm going to select the magazine it's being added to and then I'm going to click add and that's going to have added it to my magazine and has shared it on Twitter as well. I don't have to be inside my Flipboard account to be flipping a article into my Flipboard magazine. I can also do it in my web browser. All I have to do is install the Flipit bookmarklet and then uh, when I find a website that I want to bookmark, I just click on it. Exactly the same process. I can choose where I want to share it. So I can highlight all the share options. I can add a caption. I'm just adding a quick caption. Usually you want to add something a bit better than what I'm doing. Then you just select the magazine you want to add it to. And I've got a lot of magazines. And then click add. And that is flipped into my magazine. So now what I've done is I've put a whole pile of articles into my Being a Connected Educator magazine so you can see what it might look like. And as you can see, as I flip the pages, um, the, the oldest article is at the end and the newest ones are at the beginning. Another important aspect of Flipboard magazines is people can, who have got Flipboard accounts can subscribe to them. This is my main Flipboard magazine. And you can see here that I've got over um, 4,000 readers of my magazine and every day I'm sharing articles that I think that other people will find helpful into the magazine and then they can um, 
read it within the side of the magazine. For example, uh, this the the beginner guide to Twitter. You can see has had uh, four reflips. So if somebody else doesn't want to be curating the content, they can be following along behind your magazine. Hope that's helped.